Welcome to Simple Sarah. Today on the show, we are going to be making spiced orange marmalade. And in a saucepan, I have got, this was 10 navel oranges, and they're all slightly on the large side. And one, right here, is one lemon. And I sliced it all real thin on the mandolin. You can use a knife, just try to get real thin, like one-eighth of your slice. Real thin. Okay, we're going to turn on our stove and we're going to put in six cups of water. There's four. And another two makes six. Okay. We're going to bring this up to a bowl. While we wait for it to come to a bowl, we're going to add our spices. And this is what's going to make it spiced. I got a two inch piece of ginger that I had peeled and I chopped up. And you can do it fine as you want or chunky, however you would like. So we're going to add this to the pot. Now if you didn't, you just want a plain orange marmalade, then don't skip the spice step. And make sure you take, as you slice your, uh, your one lemon and your Ten uh, oranges. You take pick out the seeds as you go. We don't want no seeds in our so uh, sauce. So here's our spices. This is apple pie spice. And the reason why I'm using it is because it's got cloves and stuff in it, and I didn't have no cloves on hand. So this is one that's got a combination of stuff. So you want. Two teaspoons of this. So there goes our apple pasta. And this has to be spicy, which has already got a kick to it. Of cinnamon, you can use regular cinnamon. Two of all the spices. So two teaspoons of all the spices. Next, we're going to put in cardamom. And this happened to be ground, you can get whole. So, two of them. Mine's gonna be extra, extra spicy. Now, I've got our um, stove on a medium high heat and I'll try to bring it up to a bowl and stir. And after it comes up to a bowl, we'll go to the next. While we wait for our orange marmalade to come to a bowl, here's a little kitchen tip. I buy ginger up when it's on sale. Big bunches of it. And ginger looks like this when it comes. It's a ginger root and it comes in the store like this. This is ginger. What you do is I cut it up in big pieces like this. And I peeled it. And then I throw it down in a freezer, zip hole baggie, and put it up in the freezer. Anytime I need a ginger for a recipe, I just take a handy dandy grater and grate some in. That way you always can. Because um, ginger can dry up or easy, you know, even if you leave it in the fridge. I mean, it'll last for a couple months after you buy it, but then you need to start doing something with it. So this, if put it in the freezer, helps it last longer. So here's some of some ginger I've done up. Here's another part. And I'm getting ready to do that. But I wanted to talk about the scraps, the peelings and stuff of, of ginger. Do not throw these away because there is so much flavor still. There's still ginger, you know. I mean, it has a thin skin, but there's still so much ginger left in it. I put them in a super baggie and label them uh, ginger peeling scraps. And then I make simple syrups with them, especially in the summertime when it's lemonade seasoning. <clears throat> and you could do anything with them. Make top cocktails. Just don't throw these away. I mean, these. I mean, these are perfectly dashy, big long pieces like that with the skin left on to throw down even in soups. They have a lot of ginger in it, so I mean, even these pieces would be good just dropped in a soup because you could see these and get these out. Other than the little 
little tiny pieces like that, you know. But keep your ginger pills. See, this is what I'm talking about. Here's all my ginger. I put it in a big uh, baggie. I'm going to put it in the freezer and grate me some anytime I need a little bit of ginger in a recipe. So here is my ginger. Then here is my full little baggie of ginger peelings. And ginger has a lot of good properties in it. Um, it can help with tummy aches, upset stomach. I know from my family side, my aunt had cancer and during chemo she would uh, drink by ginger and chop it up and make ginger tea and her to sip on because she was always nauseated and stuff. I mean, it has lots and lots of different good qualities and properties. So, don't waste your ginger. Alright. Or, orange, spiced orange marmalade's come up to a full bowl. Now, we're going to turn it on a low simmer. And set your timer for 40 minutes. And we're going to let it go for 40 minutes. And you're going to come back and stir it every like every 10 minutes you know you're gonna you got to keep an eye on this don't walk away from this you know 40 minutes is up on our spiced orange marmalade now the recipe that i was going to use uses about seven cups of sugar i think it's a little bit too much i know orange marmalade needs a lot of sugar so i'm going to start with four cups of regular granulated sugar Oops, stir this in a minute. Give it about five minutes and then taste it with a spoon. And I might have to add some more sugar. And if I do, I'll eat it, add a cup at a time and taste. I don't want it too, too sweet. I want to, you know, a little bit of that tartness with the sweetness of my orange marmalade. And I tasted it. I ended up adding another cup. So five cups of what? Uh, white granulated sugar just plain up sugar we're going to bring it back up to a bowl and then turn it down just a tad to a low low bowl keep stirring stirring cover and let it go for another 40 minutes so i see you back after 40 minutes okay your second 40 minutes is up on our spiced orange marmalade now I'm going to add two packs of this in. This is the Ball Natural Gel Original Fruit Pectin. And it's 1.75 ounce. Something I think so. 1.75 1. ounce. Two packs of them go in. And we're just going to stir this in and after we get it all stirred in we're going to leave it at where it's sitting on a low medium and we're going to let it get thick and watch it for about 20 minutes so this process takes 20 minutes okay our spiced orange marmalade is done see how thick it got and as it cools it's going to get thicker so put this in jars and process it like the jars say or I'm going to ladle some into a jar and keep in the refrigerator and keep up in the refrigerator for um, three to four months. Or you can put it in, in the freezer jars and throw it in your freezer. So any way you want to do it to seal it up or process it or whatever you want to do. Now I took an immersion blender and kind of chopped mine up. Yeah, I left some chunks of long orange too but I, I wanted some of it broken up too so a little bit more smooth but a little, still a little bit chunky with some of the orange pills running through and see how thick it got and a little thick and like I said as it cools it's so warm and with all them spices mm, I'm sure it'll warm you up I hope you enjoy this recipe and try it.